but and it's good to see everybody here today and I hope that you've all had a good week and it's very good to see um, some of our members on Zoom today and we wish you a few shalema if you've had a procedure this week. And without further ado, um, it's very great pleasure to welcome uh, Irene, who's going to give a Deval Torah for us. Irene, over to you. Thank you, Thank you Michelle. Um, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Um, tonight and tomorrow is the Yorkshire of my mother, so I want to just dedicate my words to one of that. Um, my mum died 41 years ago, which I find quite hard to um, think about. It's a long time. Um, I want to speak about Yishmael, who play, plays a part in this week's Sedra. And um, some of the thoughts I'm saying, uh, I read from um, Rabbi Chaim Fafla as well. Okay, so um, Yishmael is mentioned many times in the Torah. Um, he's a bit of an enigma because he was the son of uh, Sarah's man maidservant, Haggai. And on the other hand, he was Abraham's son, in fact, his first son. Um, he's often treated by the Torah and the commentators as a second-class citizen and potentially dangerous member of the family, and yet sometimes he's treated with respect and honour. If he was all bad, why would we find in the Talmud many Rabbi Yishmaels, whereas, of course, we don't really find any Rabbi Esau's. <laughs> um, but anyway, he can't have been all that good either, otherwise we wouldn't be at war with hundreds of millions of our cousins. So who is the real Yishmael? This question becomes really acute during the end of our Sedra this week, because when Avraham dies, um, he and Yitzhak together bury Avraham. And we read, um, And these are years of Yishmael. 100 years and 30 years and seven years. That's familiar, isn't it? Uh, similar, it was with Sarah at the beginning of the Sedra when we read, and Sarah lived 100 years and 20 years and seven years. All the commentators comment on this and the way the Torah it uses its long-winded way of saying 127. And they put it down to the fact that Sarah was as innocent and as beautiful at 127 as she was as a child. But you can hardly say the same thing about Yishmael with his similar style, although it was 137, it's still the same way. The Netziv addresses this quandary by suggesting that Yishmael had led two different lives. One was the life of the son of Abraham with all the responsibilities that that entailed. And the other was the life of the son of Hagar, who was an Egyptian man maidservant and at the beginning, she kept to her idolatrous upbringing. While Avraham was alive, and even during his burial, Ishmael acted correctly and showed all the respect and honor that any son would show his father, even playing second fiddle to Yitzchak. But once Avraham was no longer alive, Ishmael showed his true colors. When Hashem chose Avraham, and then Yitzchak, and then Yaakov, to be part of the chosen people, to lead it. He also gave all the other nations their own roles and missions with their individual responsibilities. And these nations, whether stemming from Ishmael or Esav, they have all had the potential to fulfill these roles and responsibilities without including the destruction of the Jewish people in their mission statements. They were given the seven Noahite laws and according to our Jewish tradition, people, um, non-Jews who keep those laws are good. So when they remember and recognize that they too stem from Abraham, no one needs to go to war or use the Jews as scapegoats for their own misfortunes. History has actually shown us that Jews and Muslims live side by side in many countries, in peace and in harmony, and not only when facing a common enemy, like the time of the Crusades. Those days seemed very, very far away. 
and will hopefully not be repeated in our lifetime. This is clearly and entirely the choice of the children of Yishmael and their descendants, him and Esau. Esau. We pray for peace. We do pray for peace all day and every day. And we mean it. We want peace. And what we all need to learn from our history and from our Torah teachings is that the way to achieve peace is not by abandoning our strong religious beliefs and our Jewish tradition and morals and ethics in order to try and be more like others or to be more popular with other religions. In fact, if we do that, the more we show our willingness to compromise, the more they mock us. No, we need to strengthen ourselves and our beliefs. The way forward is to work together with others and to be in harmony. Much is happening in that regard in the world and in Israel, and it has been happening for a while. But at the moment, it does seem to be increasing. Um, but it's still a slow process. It was wonderful to see Chief Rabbi Mervis on his recent historical visit to the UAR and how he's working together and engaging with all the other Muslim leaders. My mum always said that religion was the cause of all wars. Now, rightly or wrongly, I think she meant, what she meant by that was that we should all be in harmony and celebrate our diversity and differences and not draw attention to them and uh, have wars because of them. So that's what we learned from this week. Sedra, um, Shabbat Shalom at the end. Thank you very much indeed, Arini, for your Tabar Torah. Uh, Shakoyak to you, and we wish you a uh, high Marukim for the yacht site of your mother. Thank you. Now it's a great pleasure to invite David to lead us in Kabbalat Shabbat. All right, just um, I suppose I, yeah, I suppose I better unmute myself. Yes. And also, um, yeah, thank you, Shabbat Shalom, Marini, and thank you for the Devar Torah. And uh, again, wish you a, a long life on the on the occasion of the outside of your mother. Um, we haven't got the visual aid today, so there will be no major changes to what normally takes place. Um, you just have to um, you know, sing along or rattle your jewellery, as somebody once famously com commented at the Royal Command performance, those of you with very long memories. Okay, we'll start with Yadid Nefesh. Yadid Nefesh, Avarachamam, Meshal Chavdecha, El Ritzonecha, Ya Ritzavdecha, Kemo Ayal, Yishtachave el mulchadarecha, ya mulchadarecha, ya mulchadarecha, ya mulchadarecha, ya mulchadarecha, ya mulchadarecha, ya mulchadarecha, Nafshi cholat avatecha Anahe al-narafa anala Be'arot la noam zivacha Az titchazek v'titrafek V'hayetala Simchat Olam Vatiyamna Rachamecha V'chusana Albeina Uvecha Ki Zechama Nichsof Nichsavti Lero B'tiferet Uzecha Eila Hamda Hamda Libi Vahusana Vealti Talam Iga Lena Ufros Havidi Alai Etsukat Shalom Ha Tayeret Mirvodeho 
Nagila venis mahabach, maher alav kiva
Orari hit orari kiva ore kumi ori 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 share the bay with the world at night. Allah is nikla la kadodi le kratala kane shabat ne kabala la tevashi velati kumi. Mama tishalhahi. Umatami Bahia Hasu Ani Ayam Vanibnata Ear of the law. Ian and I 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 and
Sata re du ma be tu sata var be kat ma to kamelish chesed kamifahalo no tain the rasha ra kerisha to bishlach le kechamim no shicha heinu litod mechakeke cheshua to meizim yagayel beruch asto baruch dehiyat shem tehilato meizim yagayel beruch asto. Thank you so much, D David. To call out to you, that was beautiful. Um, we, uh, just want you to know that we, though some of us weren't rattling our jewelry, we're clapping along at appropriate moments. Good. Good. <laughs> Thank you, David. Lovely. Thank you very much, Irene, as well, for your departure. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Irene. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you, David. Shabbat shalom. Thank you very much. Shabbat shalom. Thank you, Irene. I wish you long life. Bye-bye. Shabbat -bye. shalom, everybody. Shalom. The plumbing's hey. going well, Linda. Shabbat shalom. Linda's gone. <laughs> oh, oh. You all right, Harvey? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks very much. People are coming into it now. I know. I know. Uh, yeah, well, uh, this, is, this is the best yeah. bit. Conversation afterwards is the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Kenton TV channel's shortly closing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Take care. Shabbat shalom. Right. Take care. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Look, Shabbat shalom, everybody. Be careful. Bye-bye.